Good morning. We are on lesson 2.10. Um, that is on page 129 in your book. All of this is about story problems. So hopefully all the practices that we've been doing um, will help you get ready for this. Um, this is story problems that have two different steps. A lot of these are subtraction um, and then division by fractions. So hopefully we can get a good amount of practice that you can do a good job on your worksheet. So starting on problem number two on 129. says so Sarah's craft project uses pieces of yarn that are 1 8 yard long. Um, she has a piece of yarn that is three yards long. Okay. Um, how many 1 8 pieces can she cut and still have, this is the part where you have to subtract 1 and 1 fourth left over. So you have to take apart or take away the part that she wants left over. Um, you can't really subtract these things, so I'm going to drop it and I'm going to put it into a, it's not even a number. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to subtract one fourth. So two minus one is one, and then to subtract my fractions, which would be three fourths. Okay. This is now the total amount of yarn or string or ribbon, whatever she's using, um, that she wants to work with. So this is the total, and so we're going to put that in the front of our division problem. <laughs> So one and three fourths is your new total. It, she started out with three yards of ribbon, but she doesn't want to use all of that, so you had to take it away. So three, one and three fourths is the only ribbon that she can use. And then it said that she wants to break that up into one and one eighth pieces. Okay, we know how to do this. We have to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. Four, seven over four times, switch this, do the reciprocal, eight over one. I'm gonna simplify. Both of those can be reduced by four. Multiply straight across, and I get 14 over one. She can make 14 of her little ribbon crafts. I don't know what the ribbon crafts are, but that's how many she can make. All right, moving on to number three. And it says, Alex opens a one pint container. Here's the one pint container. Um, and he uses 1 16th of it. So he's taking away 1 16th of it. So we need to find out how much is left in the container. I'm just going to turn this into a fraction. I'm going to do 16 over 16 minus 1 over 16, and I get 15 over 16. Okay, this is my total. This is what I have. This is the first number of our division problem. Okay, remember the total or the big number goes at the beginning. And he wants to split it up into three-fourths jars, three-fourths pint container jars. Okay, that's what he wants to split up the servings into. So keep the first fraction, flip this and turn a reciprocal, and change this. See if you can reduce. I can crisscross reduce on both of them. This can be divided by four, this can be divided by four, this turns into a one, this turns into a four, these, they have a factor of three in common. Divide by three, divide by three, and then mul multiply straight across. So this new number is five times one is five. This new number is four times one is four. Okay, we know that when there is an improper fraction, shove the top one to the right, and automatically put this as your denominator. How many times can four fit into five? Just once, do the math like normal. Whatever you're left with, that is your numerator. Okay, going on with your worksheet, you only have to do the front of 2.10. 
okay? Only number one, only number two. They are very similar to these two problems. First, you have to subtract, and then you have to do your division problems. Do not worry about doing anything on the back. That's talking about time, and we don't need to walk, whoa, worry about that right now. So just one and two on the front. Have an amazing day.